G'day guys, welcome back to G-Man Speaks. Today we are at the Slurry Research Institute. We're taking a look at singles events. Are women struggling with meeting men at these events? We could just jump straight into TikTok and get a lay of the land for the betterment of humankind by this research. <laughs> so I went to a singles event and when I got there, it was literally 90% women. And I was like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go now. So okay, why do you think that would be? Generally, and I may repeat myself on this point a few times um, throughout this video, just to really drive it home. Men don't enjoy the dating process whatsoever, for the most part. Now, I'm not gonna speak for every man out there. I'm gonna get some in the comments that says, yeah, I love it, and I love taking women out, and I love the process, and all of that. But generally, the dating process for men, especially through uh, technology being uh, online dating apps, you're at a job interview. You're being interviewed, summed up, analyzed, and then assessed uh, whether you're going to be accepted for the next round of the interview process. So what is a speed dating event? A speed dating event is a whole bunch of women in one room slash singles event in one room interviewing you. So I know they're interchangeable, speed dating and singles events, but they do serve the same purpose. It's for people who are single to mingle, okay? To talk, have conversations. Why would any guy subject himself to being interviewed by random chicks? Generally, not the best type of looking girls because any girl that is not desperate in any way does not need to go to a singles dating event to meet men. Men are generally throwing themselves at them or approaching them. So that's why men don't want to go. That's why there's 90% women. It's a huge red flag. morning guys as you know i went to the thursday oh. dating event last night it's now friday morning here in melbourne so i'm going to give you my honest review and i guess feedback on the event the event it's it always does my head in. i'm not being racist here guys you're going to say that it's like you get these uh, asian girls with a really aussie accent she's like g'day guys how the fuck you going all right yeah let's punch back a few windy blues hey eh? what do you reckon cobber yeah cheers all righty oh <laughs> it does my head in every time I mean, this is the fair that you're going to get at a speed dating slash singles event, you're gonna get these kinds of chicks that cannot get a guy in the real world and they're not even on dating apps. So you get these kind of birds wanting you to audition for them. Itself, I think was run really well. Like the organizers were all super friendly. Like it was pretty straightforward what you had to do. When you arrived, you got a name tag that you had to write your name on as well as draw a picture of something you were interested in, which it was hard to do at the start, but, cause I'm a terrible drawer, but, it was actually a really good icebreaker because you go up to people and see what was on their name tag and that was easy to start the conversation. The venue itself, in my opinion, was probably a bit small. Um, I felt like, I guess by midway when everyone had arrived, it was just too packed. Like, it was too loud. You couldn't really hear who you were talking to. You couldn't really get anywhere without being squashed. That would be my, I guess, negative feedback would be the venue. In terms of the crowd, so everyone was really friendly. I will give kudos to that. Like, there's no one that you went up to, but... male or female, that was unfriendly. I felt like everyone was in the same boat, trying to, like, put themselves out there. Everyone was open to have a chat. Like, it was almost, I felt like I was almost, like, on Love Island or something. I know <laughs> they sell tickets, like, 50% male, 50% female, but I did feel like the female crowd very much dominated. Uh, don't get me wrong, there was still plenty of males there, but... I just felt like there were way more girls there, regardless, which... And there's a common theme you hear throughout this video, because I have watched uh, these TikToks in advance. But the common theme that you're going to hear and see is these are very much dominated by women. Men aren't turning up. You know, it's very obvious. It's the last thing you want to do. Why would a guy want to go and do that? You've got to be a sucker for punishment. I'll tell you guys a story about Larry. Larry went to one of those, and he gave me the down low as well. And this was very recently. I think is something that kind of happens at these sort of events. And look, if you are deciding to go, like, it is intense. Like, everyone is super friendly, as I said, but it is a very intense situation to be in. Like, 
I don't know, like it's very mentally exhausting. Like I am quite like not really that much of an anxious person. Like yeah, I can get nervous or excited or whatever, but going there and walking into that situation and having people just come up to you really all of a sudden, because obviously everyone's there to have chats, but like I found it very overwhelming. Um, yeah, I stood there for a bit with my friend for like a good half hour just to almost take it all in because it was very overwhelming. Like people are very forward, which is what you want, but I guess just because... I'm not personally used to that. Like, I just found it, yeah, quite overwhelming. Like, as soon as you're done chatting to another person, someone's cutting in to have a chat to you on the other side of you. And yeah, it's just non-stop talking. <laughs> if I'm being completely honest, I didn't love the event. I just don't know if that's the sort of environment that I like to meet, like how I would like to meet someone. Um, that said, me and my friend are going to the next one in a fortnight, oh, okay. just because, you know, we want to give it a chance. Now we've sort of found our feet with it. Um, but yeah, that was my opinion. I just Yeah, so... <laughs> She wasn't outrageous in what she was saying. She was saying this shit. Uh, the mostly chicks go. Dudes aren't going. Okay, so picture, picture yourself standing in this scenario, guys. You're standing in a hall or you're standing in a pub somewhere or whatever it is, wherever they have these, and you've got these desperate birds coming up to you trying to find out as much information as they can in the short term to see if you're worthy of them trying to hook a claw in. That's all it is. Like you get these girls who are well past the prime or they're not... Uh, attractive to most men therefore they desperately they had the smell of death on them which is i call it the smell of death is when a woman is that desperate for a boyfriend desperate for a relationship you know that's what she wants she isn't so much the guy she wants to have the boyfriend relationship slash get off dating app stop being single it's for the social reasons there's anxiety there's time pressure it's generally these women that are in their 30s which i can appreciate is tough okay but as a man, why would you subject yourself to that? I couldn't think of anything worse. I even had a hard enough time a few years ago when I was perusing the dating apps quite extensively, uh, being put on blast by women uh, who had really no had no place trying to interview me. I was well, far more well put together than what they were at the time. So it's a very interesting uh, situation these women put themselves in. And yeah, that smell of desperation really comes off. So... You can see why these things fall over. Another Aussie bird here, guys. Update on the dating series. Would I ever go again? No. That's just my personal opinion. The people there were not my vibe because, like I said, I'm not like a city gal. Um, would I hang out with the girl that I became friends with? Yes, I would. So we ended up having a couple of drinks there and decided to go to Honky Tonks in Brisbane City. And I got this hat for spending $50. So you spend $50 on drinks, you get this hat. So winning. And then we just watched a live, um, a guy playing like live music. And yeah, so not my thing for the whole dating, but definitely made a friend, which is good. We had we all right, blah blah blah. So more or less, it was a shit time. Uh, look, she is uh, quite attractive. She still looks very nice, and I'm sure she would have gone there. And the guys that would have been there at that dating app, the ten percent or whatever, that are guys are going to be bottom of the barrel type dudes as well, trying to hunt down the the monsters um, at the singles event. Okay, so we're about halfway through, guys. So if you enjoy the content, please sub to the channel. Um, 10,000 subs is the short-term goal, so I would appreciate if you could join the channel and be a part of that growth. And the best way to help the channel, guys, not going to bullshit you and say hang around to the end for an amazing story. The longer you stick around, uh, the wider reach my videos get. So if you could stick around as long as you would like and can bear, that's much appreciated. All right, so guys, I've got a bit of a story for you. My mate, Larry, the famous Larry. Um, caught up with him. We've been a couple of days ago. Once again, we always go for walks and we go for long walks and talks, you know. We do like, you know, uh, we get up to like, you know, 20,000 steps or something. We walk for about two, two and a half hours. We do this big walk and we talk about life and we talk about all sorts of stuff and he bounces things off me and I bounce things off him, you know. He's a good mate to have. So Larry is a little bit unlucky in love. Larry's the kind of guy, and, uh, he's somewhat trying to unplug a little bit um but he's still not really getting it so he still goes you know he's got that pill in his mouth he's got the crimson capsule in his mouth he hasn't swallowed it yet he's tasting it um but he hasn't swallowed it and sometimes he spits it back out 
So what did Larry go and do recently? I'll tell you, Larry, good old Larry, nicest guy in the world. He has two friends who are like middle-aged women, sort of like the ones you're seeing on these um, uh, on these TikToks, you know. And they coaxed him into going to a singles event, like a traffic light party, um, locally here in Melbourne, like very recently. So it was a traffic light party for you guys that don't, that don't know, is that it's red for um, yeah taken. Um, Yellow, yellow for maybe you're open to it, and green is just you are fucking anyone's type thing. Okay, yeah, we you wear these bands on your arms. I don't know why you'd be red, why you'd go, unless you're just accompanying friends, which is weird. Anyway, Larry goes there and he told me it was the biggest um, cesspool he's ever gone to with the kinds of women that you see in this place. He said the women were overly keen, were more or less harassing him. Um, and trying to size him up very, very quickly. He said the women there were like your shazzies. Yeah, yeah, you fucking girl. Down at the local pub, you know, with a short hair and a fucking dozer. Hanging out of their mouth, a short leather skirt on, you know, a real shazzy. Uh, bogan birds there, you know. He said there was all kinds. He said most of them were bogans, really rough looking chicks. You know, you can tell they go there every week and just get pounded out in the car park. Uh, behind the RSL, you know, legs out the window at the end of the night. And he said he was approached... To the point where he felt uh, uncomfortable. He didn't want to be there. And he left early. Because he just felt it was the biggest smell of desperation of anywhere he's ever been. This is a guy who does not do well uh, with women. Was being chased by the bottom of the barrel there. So he felt like he was completely overwhelmed. Which is similar to what one of the earlier women said. Alright, so I've got a bit of a bonus clip here for you. This is uh, women who are overvaluing themselves. And not understanding why... They are actually the ones at these events thinking that they're too good for the guys there. I find it hilarious. <laughs> I can have a look at this. We just left the event. <laughs> so bad. I think I think we were just saying that we think that we've actually hit rock bottom. <laughs> Yeah, well, look at this. You got fucking. Oh, I'm not gonna even get stuck into the insults, guys. You don't need to say anything here. You got a, you got a drop meat pie and a chick with a bloody gunt, complaining, laughing, and cackling that they are at a, that a, that a, a singles event because the guys there are shit. And admittedly, yeah, if you find yourself at a singles event, you're probably not the most desirable. It's just the way it is. It's unfortunate, but you can understand why men would go because they think there'd be heaps of chicks there that want to meet them. Okay. Let's finish this off. No, it was actually... We think we've actually hit rock bottom. And you have. We, I, don't think, I think we were either punked, catfished, <laughs> like or... It felt like a sick joke. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, literally thinking to myself, like, why am I... Like, how did I get here? How did I get here? Because uh, you're both overweight, unattractive, obnoxious, and overvaluing yourself to the point where you're going to make a TikTok laughing at the guys at a singles event when you can't see how ironic... And how much of an oxymoron it is to be doing this while, while also being morons. Hilarious. Guys, put in your uh, experiences if you've been to single events and what you think of them. I've never been to one purely for the fact that it was just the idea of it is repellent to me. Oh, well, this is uh, Hope with Holly. It's your favorite uh, lady, guys. So I have to cancel the singles event that I planned to be on my farm this weekend. Y'all know I'm an event planner and I have a fish farm and I advertised a fishing for love event where singles could come here and fish and have dinner and meet each other in person. Not Sounds like the shittiest fucking time ever. On a dating app and five women RSVP'd yes and one man. And even the one man that did RSVP did it through one of the ladies. Now I did all of my marketing specifically towards men because I knew that the women would RSVP. I promote. Why do you think that is men are not interested? I'm going to say it a bunch of times here. Men are not interested in being bailed up by super desperate chicks. Why, why, especially middle age, a lot of the guys who have been in relationships in the past in the middle age, maybe they've come out and had bad divorces. Okay regardless of who was the bad party, going to a divorce for a man is a horrible thing, okay? Uh, you can really wreck your life. So a lot of guys are licking their wounds at this age, rebuilding their lives. Or if they have rebuilt and recovered from a bad divorce or separation, they're definitely not going out there to offer it up. You know, keys to the kingdom, as I call it. 
to some random slurries down at a singles event that are probably middle-aged, overvaluing themselves and unattractive. <laughs> That's why. Guys don't want to go somewhere to be interrogated. Promoted the event on 45 different Facebook groups, specifically about hunting, fishing, camping, country life, and all local to my area. I know that my post reached over 12,000 people specific to the What's age telling group, you? the gender, and the interest that I just described. And yet, no man RSVP'd. So let's talk about That's about why here we go. And I haven't watched this far into this one. She's going to have something, something about that men are shy and men, are, men don't like rejection and women are willing to put their hearts on the line. And I'll make a point about that is women never stop looking for love, regardless of how bad um, of experiences they've had or whether they've trashed a whole bunch of guys. There's a reason why women never give up looking for love and hope. It's because they generally come out of uh, marriages and long-term relationships unscathed in terms of financial damage. And they have emotional damage, but women move on incredibly quick, okay? Like they can detach pretty quick and rewrite history. Men, on the other hand, lick their wounds. Like this shit, horrible experiences stay with them forever. So then they're going to say men are emotionally unavailable or emotionally detached or whatever it is. Men are just protective. But these women, as I was saying, they never give up. You know why? There's nothing at stake. There's always just something to gain. Whether at the very least, it's attention and dates and all of that. And at the very most, they get entwined into another guy's life, move into his house, upgrade their lifestyle, upgrade their finances. And if that doesn't work out, which in the case, it doesn't a lot of the time, they get to walk away with a whole bunch of his stuff and ongoing payments. So that's why they're always looking for love and romance. They never give up. Because there's not really a negative impact for a lack of success. About why men are not RSVPing and attending these singles meet and greets. That's here. So it. I read something that said that men are just more spontaneous. They just want to show up. But I don't think that's true. Because men have no problem buying their season tickets to a football game a year in advance. Being on time for their fantasy football event being at a 7 a.m. golf tea time. So the issue must be that they're just not interested in attending these singles meet and greets. I also read that men don't really like the pressure of meeting a woman in a formal dating experience and they prefer meeting a woman naturally, like at a bar or a concert. But like, don't we all? Now remember, I chose an event that men love doing. And I get men here every day at my farm fishing. Yeah, but not with women. Uh, fishing and stuff like that is a, a male activity where men like to go and do that together, not to meet women fishing. If there's a difference there, you can't mix the two together. It was a fishing event because as an event planner, I know that I have to always have something for men to be doing. Men don't enjoy just standing around talking like women do. So that's why I chose fishing as the predominant activity. And yet they still didn't want to come. So I would love to hear from you all as to why you think men don't attend singles events. Because all I hear is them on social media talking about how lonely they are and how they all want to meet a woman and how much they hate the apps. There you go. So I don't think they're ever going to learn. I think men men would be telling them that you can't... Oh. I don't know, guys. I'm not going to bother responding. All right. Now let's see uh, what this young lady has to say, her review of an app. I went to a singles event recently. And there was about 60 of us, I think, all of Half boys, half girls. It was really fun. It wasn't like a speed dating event. We did different games and activities and you had time to chat to people and one-on-one -on -one and get to know each other. I reckon I talked to about 20 of the guys. There was only one that I was interested in. I met a bunch of girls who are fantastic and we have group chat now supporting each other through all of the shit dating stories that we're going through and between the 12 of us I think only two of us liked one person one of us went out on a date with one guy cool so you got a whole bunch of girls who are probably at the bottom of the barrel themselves because they're at one of these things like I'm not going to be nasty to this woman she's overweight okay she's fat 
And so they're saying out of the 20 guys or whatever, they're only interested in one. So you've got these girls at the bottom of the barrel being still being super picky, not realising this is the last stop. This is the last stop for you going to these events to try and meet guys. It's like blunt force, Hail Mary, buzzer beater type behaviour. Desperation at its finest, but you still want to be picky when you're there. So what, what, what do you want to get out of it? Can't believe it. Not the best outcome for everyone. The one guy that I was interested in, we had been chatting one-on-one -on -one partway through, conversation on point. We had some things we connected on, we had some things that we were passionate about that the other person wasn't, that we were asking questions about, conversation flowing really good, we got interrupted by having to do a group game. So we were like, let's chat again afterwards. We didn't get a chance because there was multiple games and then it kind of wrapped up and I turned around and he was gone. I followed him on Instagram and I sent him a message. That was about three weeks ago. Gone. No reply. Nothing. Turns out he knows someone I used to work with. I asked them what his deal was and he was like, oh yeah, beautiful person, like so lovely. I reckon you two would get along really well. I was like, yeah, cool. This was before I messaged him. Dating in Melbourne sucks. <laughs> so hang on, because you get rejected once in your whole life by one dude, then he's not a nice person. You had your shot, you blew it, you got distracted, and the guy probably changed his mind or found somebody better. As I said, she's not the top of the top. And that's what dating's like for a lot of people. Um, women also have to learn that there is going to be a lot of disappointment. So they get, how does dating suck? Dating sucks the worst for men. You've got that many options, really, if you especially go on a dating app. Now, most of them aren't going to want to marry. They're going to want to smash you in the back of the car park, you know, in the VM uh, at the end of the night, in the middle of the night, guys, in the rain, doggy style on the grass, mud fucking everywhere. But they'll never understand truly what it's like for a man to date. And maybe they do start to learn and they start going to these singles events and nobody wants them. I'm not being up myself, but the group of us are all beautiful. Yeah, inside. And I mean personality. All of the other girls, stunning, like gorgeous as well. All have beautiful personalities, funny, good careers. We've Don't care. travelled. Don't care. You know, fun hobbies. What more can we be putting out there? To find these people sucks out there i think sucks out there for everybody and that's why once again these dating apps shit they get these women complaining about them but they keep going to them like um i wrote in just for tiktok just for guys you're like where to get these things i literally wrote in singles events into tiktok and all the thousands of videos came up this is a small small selection okay i went to old peculiar i went to oops <laughs> um, I went to where the King of Seattle singles, whatever, Ben, um, my guy, where he said to go for the singles meetup. I went. Here's my honest review. Um, lots of girls. Lots of girls. Lo I love a girls. I love a scissor fest. Lab. I love it. Did not find my husband. <laughs> the men there. You guys. Not a single one talked to me. Which, like, maybe it's me. Maybe you don't like me. Maybe you don't want yeah. to talk. But, like... Might be that. Let's get some confidence, babes. Let's get some confidence. No, it's not that. It's, you know, an overweight chick who's probably overbearing. And, guys, I keep saying this in this video. Women are always looking to hunt men down. And as men get a bit older and we see the desperation of women who haven't locked a man down, you start to realize that. They're locking you down for the social gratification that comes with having a relationship. That's why they're going to these social single events to lock down a man, a husband, a partner. They're not looking for a true love story. Love story. Okay. See, that's why you're single. Men are the mark and men are waking up and going, oh, hang on. This, this sort of risk is not going to be worth it for me for a bottom of the barrel chick who thinks and have too much confidence okay because i love i'm tired i'm tired 
at my job, I work, I work, I yell at men all day. I'm like, do your job right. Like, come on, come on. You know, in my life, I'm like, just trying to find a man like, to date. And I'm tired of chasing. I'm tired of chasing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm tired of chasing. You're not chasing. You're just going to a few events. Men chase women. Okay. I want somebody to just, like, chase me. Yeah? <laughs> like, I need somebody who's going to pick me up and throw me. Yeah? Yeah. You might be struggling with that. Okay, I was rewatching that before I post the review, and at the end of that, I say I want somebody to pick me up and throw me. And by that, I would like to elaborate. I want somebody to pick me up, throw me over their shoulder, tell me where to go, when to be there, and what to wear. You know, I want somebody to just take control and, like, you know, like, I'm tired of making the decisions. I don't want to be your tour guide. I don't want to take you around the street. I don't want to have to go up to you and talk to you. Like, just come up to me and say hi. It says to be, come, literally come up to me. And say, this is where I'm taking you out. This is what you should wear. And this is what we're going to... Like, thank you. Okay. All right. Living in Fantasy Island, guys. I'm just going to wrap it up there. There's not too much you can say. But this is the kind of fair that you get at singles events. So, guys, go at your own risk and enjoy if you do go. I'd love to know about it. Put it in the comments if you've ever been. I would literally love to know about it. Genuinely curious. All right, guys. If you've made it this far into the video, I appreciate it. You're 26 minutes in. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next upload.